Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Reverend Angela Peverell. I'm not in Musselbrook today. I'm in Sydney on the land of the Kamaragal people. And so I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. Today is Tuesday, the 4th of April, and we are now in Holy Week. So let's pray. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle is a song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you. For you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax in your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm this morning is Psalm 21. The king shall rejoice in your strength, O Lord. He shall exult in your salvation. You have given him his heart's desire. You have not denied him the request of his lips. For you came to meet him with the blessing of success and placed a crown of gold upon his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him. Length of days for ever and ever. Great is his glory because of your salvation. You have clothed him with honour and majesty. You have given him everlasting felicity and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord and through the tender mercy of the Most High, he shall never be moved. Your hand shall light upon your enemies and your right hand shall find out all who hate you. You will make them like a blazing furnace in the day of your coming. The Lord will overwhelm them with his wrath, and fire shall consume them. You will root out their offspring from the earth, and their seed from among the children of Adam, because they have stirred up evil against you, and plotted mischief which they cannot perform. Therefore will you set your shoulder toward them, and draw the string of the bow to strike at their faces. Arise, O Lord, in your great strength, and we will sing praise and power to you. Creator Spirit, Advocate, promised by our Lord Jesus Christ, increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence to the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading for this morning comes from the Gospel of John. Chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I'm going? Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and you have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe in me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. 
Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. In fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides with you. And the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him or knows him. You know him, because he abides with you and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. He will be in you. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have they who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. Peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I'm going away and I'm coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur to you, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me. But I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The canticle for Tuesday is the song of Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Everlasting God, in your tender love, for the human race you sent your Son to take our nature and to suffer death upon the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.
almighty and everlasting God. Of your tender love towards us, you sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross that all should follow in the example of his great humility, mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we enter this holy week when we will share in Christ's victory over alienation, separation, suffering, evil and death, we pray to God, our Father. We pray for those who will be baptised at Easter time and for ourselves that in this coming week we may get a new appreciation of the mystery of Jesus Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those of us in situations of strife and difficulty, for all who are sick, both those known to us and those known only to you, O Lord, that they may have renewed hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may rise in Christ, who on the cross conquered death. We pray especially for the immortal souls of those who have died and those whose anniversary of death is at about this time. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. As you have raised them to imperishable and eternal life, sustain us by faith in the promise of your resurrection. Father, as we enter with Jesus into Jerusalem, the place where he interceded for us, hear now the petitions that we make in this place, that Jesus Christ our Saviour be praised and his dominion and worship in his dominion and worship him now and for all eternity. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen.